Hello, this is D, and I'm finally back with another video. Well, today I have some really exciting news. Actually, it's pretty crazy when you think about all the things that you would expect from a brand new console. Now, Sony released a new PlayStation 5 model. It is lighter, it is smaller, but it gets hotter. Now, for quite some time, we've heard about a new revised model of the PlayStation 5 that would come in. Now, initially, when I was watching Austin Evans' video, I was saying okay this is good news the console is lighter it has a better fan and then they opened up the console and this is what they saw I don't love that the newer model has a smaller heatsink I mean, look how much extra space there's a full finger of space which is being completely wasted which is not there here this is a cost reduced lighter weight less material like the yeah. reason it's lighter is because they literally removed cooling. It's it lines up too because they just reported that they're finally not taking a loss on these things. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's what we guessed in the videos where we talked about it. They're just using cheaper stuff. Oh my god! I've got like half the heat sink! Oh wow. Yeah, that's like really different. That's not even wow. close. Wait, wait, wait. Set so these that, down. Dude, Set these that down. That directly explains why the new one is so much hotter. Yeah. Holy, Holy crap. Holy. You've got like a big chungus. I've got a little chungus now. You're making me feel like I need to compensate with my PS5. Look at how different that is. That's crazy, dude. Wow. And they're different. Now, the difference between the two systems, it's not huge except the components that keep the system cool are not as good on the newer model. Now, Sony recently announced that they are making a profit on the PlayStation 5, and now we see why this is the case. They have skimped out on the parts. They're giving you a much lesser heatsink on the new version of the PlayStation 5. Now, the original PlayStation 5, it ran pretty hot. Now, if you own that model and you put your hand to the back of the console, you are going to get a significant amount of hot air blowing out of the console. Now, Sony traditionally, they don't really have the best cooled console in the market, and the PlayStation 5, it was better than the previous versions. Now, everybody expected a new PlayStation 5 model to run much cooler than the previous version. So, I don't understand how Sony is releasing a new version of the PlayStation 5, but it's a lot hotter than the previous edition. Now, some gamers out there I see they're making excuses for Sony but when your console is dependent on variable frequencies I don't think an increase of nine degrees is going to help that console now I can see some situations where the new PlayStation 5 performs worse than the previous version now also we have an issue with the SSDs on the PlayStation 5 now this is in beta and apparently they get pretty hot that Sony recommends that you use a heat sink when you install an SSD SSD in the PlayStation 5. Now this is still in the beta phase and now we have a brand new PlayStation 5 that is getting hotter than the original version and you have to believe that it's going to transfer over to the SSD base. Now it just, I don't know, it just blows my mind that Sony released a new PlayStation 5 console and it doesn't run cooler than the previous version. Basically, you're just getting a cheaper version of the PlayStation 5 that Sony can make more money on and from an engineering standpoint, it just doesn't make sense. If you're going to release a console, a newer version of the console, an update to the console, you would expect it to run better. Now, when you see both of the PlayStation 5 heatsink side by side you can really see that Sony cheaped out on the parts you're getting significantly less copper you're getting less fins you're getting less heat dissipation for the PlayStation 5 and that is not a good thing for a console that is dependent on its variable frequencies. Now, I don't know what they did behind the scenes in testing and maybe it's not going to be a huge difference. Nonetheless, I still think there's going to be a difference because the console is getting hotter. It's not going to perform as the original version or I should say the launch version of the PlayStation 5. Now, there are some good things about the the new version it does appear to have a better Wi-Fi module and it does have a better fan but just think about it that better fan is not 
cooling the system better than the original PlayStation 5. And to be quite honest with you guys, I think Sony is just trying to get as much money as possible and they're not really thinking so much about the end user. Now, if you have an original PlayStation 5, there is no need to go out and get this revised version. It is not going to run better than your previous PlayStation 5. It's not going to run cooler. And in the long run, I think that console is going to perform worse Worse than the launch PlayStation 5. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Like I said, I don't think this is good for the PlayStation 5. It already runs hot, and to have a new version that runs hotter just doesn't bode well for Sony's next generation console. Like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.